the Laplace transform. Now, this is what we're going to be looking at. One of the um, uses of the Laplace transform is in solving um, differential equations. And uh, it really shortens the uh, amount of work that you have to do in solving certain differential equations. But anyway, <coughs> let's look basically at the Laplace transform. Now, sometimes when it's being typed, it's written as um, uppercase L. Sometimes when I write it, I write something. No, I write something like this and say the Laplace transform of. All right. So, if you want to look at the trans, the Laplace transform of a function, how do you write it? I say the Laplace transform of f of x. So the Laplace of f of x. Sometimes f of x. I see it being put in some curly bracket. The Laplace of f of x is the integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus s x and the function f of x dx where s is a, a, a constant, all right? So that's basically the formula for the Laplace transform. Now, what we want to do in our next video is to look at using this to find the Laplace transform of some functions. Now, you can use it to find the Laplace transform of various functions, you, but you don't necessarily have to keep doing it when you're working because those functions sometimes they're given in a table of Laplace transform. Unless an examiner wants you to, sh to, to know if you, if you can actually find the Laplace transform of a function. But if it's a case where you're going to use a function to solve a problem, you can use a table of the Laplace transform. So this was just a basic look at the Laplace transform and the formula for it. In our next, our next video, we'll start looking at some how, how you get some um, the Laplace transform of some function. So I'll see you then.